I'd like you to think back to the first time you entered a UU church. Maybe you were feeling lonely, looking for community. Perhaps you had a family, you were looking for structure. Perhaps you were looking for a place to volunteer or to sing. Maybe you were sad, happy, or anxious. I was manic, clinically manic. See, I have bipolar disorder type one. In this heightened state, I had a lot of energy and spiritual creativity. I was looking for a place where I could be myself and people would just accept me the way that I was. In this community, I found a welcoming, non-judgmental, supportive group of individuals who were genuinely curious about me and helped to foster my budding musical talents. I felt embraced by all of you and I formed many personal connections with you. Each person receives different things from this church. But for me, this is a place where one can express their true self without fear of ridicule or discrimination. There is nothing more beautiful to me than being truly authentic and vulnerable with other people. While being manic has its upsides, how does boundless energy sound? It does wreak havoc on one's finances. Therefore, I chose to invest in this church with my time by volunteering in various committees, fundraising events, and committing to the choir. I was recruited into the choir by Kip, and I was welcomed with open arms. For those of you that don't know, I was a neophyte when it came to singing, having only started two months prior. What you hear now is a far cry from what you heard back then. Just ask Chuck if you don't believe me. <laughs> the direction and attention that I receive from Donica, Anna, Kevin, and fellow singers has been instrumental to my growth as a musician. It's been a rewarding path of progressive improvement that has culminated in the opportunity for solos and duets. I'm always reminded of how privileged I am to be able to sing in front of all of you. A few months after becoming a member, COVID descended and my schedule changed. My time had now become scarcer while my income improved. It was at this point that I started to contribute financially. Now, as the cloud of COVID lifts, I look around this church and I recognize that it is not the same as it once was. We have lost many great people and their spirits and talents have been sorely missed. Some of these people I am hopeful will return, while others may not. This is a natural process, but one that is full of grief and sadness nonetheless. We've had various tragedies that have shaken us all in, in many different ways. There have been times in this past year when I have had doubts about the future of this church and its people. I feel that what goes unsaid is more powerful than what is said, and that once we name something, it starts to lose power because we are able to distance ourselves from its emotional grip and view it objectively. The truth is that this community has been wounded and it needs to heal. Healing a community, just like healing a body, takes time and energy. As a physical therapist, I know this. This energy can come in the form of time and effort on one's part, or if those are in short supply, in the form of money. Neither is better than the other. They're merely different tools used to accomplish the same goal, that of healing, unifying, and strengthening our church so that it continues to prosper into the future. So I gently call on each of you to invest in our community with your time through volunteering in various committees or through money if your time is limited. It can be easy to withdraw when, challenge, when things are challenging, to pull back and retreat into a state of isolating comfort. But it is only by fully committing ourselves and working together that we can move towards healing and unifying this fractured church so that we can return stronger and more resilient than before, and ultimately work towards retaining the devoted and talented individuals that keep this church the loving and receptive place that we know it can be. Thank you for your time, attention, and your generosity. <laughs>